Listen. We are going to Jerusalem. Where everything the prophets wrote about the Son of Man will come true. He will be handed over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and treat him shamefully and spit upon him. He will be whipped and killed. But on the third day, he will rise. And Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem. your disciples to be quiet. I tell you, if they were to be quiet, the stones themselves would begin shouting. your day you had known the path for peace but you have failed to see it the days will come when your enemies build ramparts to surround you and hem you in pressing hard from every side and within these walls they will destroy you you and your children and they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation Understand that many have already hailed him as king. A king? <laughs> a king of beggars, whores, and thieves. We've seen his like before. They come, they make their claims, they go. They're forgotten. Don't be blind. His following is growing by the day. The people admire him. And think he is a king. Let me give you a warning. If this man should threaten the peace further, I shall look to you. Perhaps he's right. It's time we confronted the Galilean. 
And as the hypocritical section of the scribes and the Pharisees came increasingly under his attack, so his following among the Jews grew. But so did the opposition from those he condemned. It's very little. Only a mite. Can't you give more? I tell you that this poor widow put in more than all the others. For the others offered their gifts from what they had to spare of their riches. But she, poor as she is, put in all the living that she had. Tell us, what right do you have to say these things? Who gave you such right? Now let me ask you a question. Tell me, did John's right to baptize come from God or from man? What shall we say? If we were to say from God, he will say, why then? Don't you believe, John? But if we say from man, this whole crowd here will stone us. They're all convinced that John was a prophet. We don't know where it came from. Neither will I tell you then by what right I do these things. There was once a man who planted a vineyard, rented it out to tenants, and then left home for a long time. When the time came to gather the grapes, he sent a slave to the tenants to receive from them his share of the harvest. But the tenants beat the slave and sent him back without a thing. So he sent another slave. But the tenants beat him too, treated him shamefully and sent him back without a thing. Then he sent a third slave. But the tenants wounded him too and threw him out. Then the owner of the vineyard said to himself, what shall I do? I will send my own dear son. Surely they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him coming, they said to one another, This is the owner's son. Let's kill him and his property will be ours. What happened? Tell us more. Than that. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants? He will come and kill those men and give the vineyard over to other tenants. What then does this scripture mean? The stone which the builders rejected as worthless turned out to be the most important of all. Everyone who falls on that stone will be cut to pieces. And if that stone falls on someone, it will crush him to dust. Teacher, we know that what you say and teach is right. We know that you pay no attention to man's status, but to teach the truth about God's will for man. Tell us, is it against our law for us to pay taxes to the Roman emperor or not? Careful, Lord! You try and trick you! Show me a silver coin. Whose face and name are these on it? Then render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's.